what's the stupidest reason you got in trouble in school? I was drinking tea and my teacher yelled at me to stay home if I'm sick. Which I wasn't. You sick BD. Drinking tea in school. Barbaric. I wore hard sold house shoes to school. Got detention. Getting a question wrong. My teacher would always assign homework from the textbook. So when she would check it she would only see question numbers and answers. Apparently she had given a substitute a page of question numbers and answers to check that we had done our work. I had gotten the first question wrong. And this really confused her. She ignored the fact that I had most of the other questions right. No. I got 6 instead of 10. And I got in trouble for trying to pull one over on her. For saying my school picture sucked. I had no idea sucked was considered a bad word until I was put in detention for it. Landmine learning right here. Kind of like a story I heard from my mom. I think it was my grandmother who asked her mother. What's French kissing? To which she was given the reply. Don't you ever say that. And she got grounded. That is a good example of how not to teach your children. Asking my mom about things I don't know might get me in trouble? Well I just won't ask her stuff then. I'll figure it out some other way. I apparently sighed loudly when a T. A who knew she wasn't very popular walked in the room. I was talking to a friend the opposite side of my table. Was this in high school? Well. Secondary school in the UK IDK what's going on in the states with years or grades or whatever. My friend once got in trouble for a small sigh after the teacher said we got more homework or more work to do. Can't really remember. She ended up getting sent out of the classroom for it. I got called down to the office for skipping a class I didn't have. With a teacher I never had. Edit. It was a mistaken identity. We had the same last name. But completely different first name. He is also a different nationality, race. I got called down to the office about skipping class. I hadn't so I was like. What? Quote dot. I asked what class. And when they said what it was. I told them I didn't even have that class. They let me go shortly after. For fighting. The school AE sucker punched me and I didn't retaliate. It was even caught on tape. The zero tolerance policy is one of the stupidest things ever. 100% agree. Almost got a suspension for doing nothing. Then my mom, absolute legend, threatened to call the police. Claiming the school did nothing to ensure my safety after seeing all my bruises and scrapes from fights. Edit. Grammar. Yay. Good for her. Yeah. FK that ST. HL. It's no surprise bullies get away with borderline murder. Sorry for my bad English. We had a substitute teacher that everyone hates. I wasn't really paying attention to her explanation that made no sense. After a few minutes she demanded that I had to pay attention to her explanation. I said, yes captain, because I heard it on Spongebob that morning. She made me sit outside the class because I was being a spoiled brat according to her. Eventually more people began to say yes captain so they could also get away from her because everyone hated that teacher. Eventually we were sitting outside the class with five people and we didn't have to do any work for a few hours because she totally forgot about us. It was a blessing because there were no other consequences aside from getting away from that stupid B. Edit. This was elementary school. For not looking at the teacher during lesson. I wasn't fidgeting. Just sitting at my desk. Staring into space. We had a payment system in third grade where you'd get dollars for good behavior. Finishing homework. Cleaning up after lunch. And lose them for bad behavior. At the end of each quarter we'd get to use the dollars to buy ST at the book fair. Every kid wanted to stock up. Now each task would get you between one to two dollars. Each day you could only get like three max. She charged me twenty dollars. It was literally heartbreaking and took me a full month to recover. Turns out I had focal epilepsy and was having episodes in class. Got treated like a shitty kid for it all through high school. 
edit. For those of you asking, everyone's epilepsy is unique to them. Mine is caused by a cavernous hemangioma on my right frontal lobe. Glamour shot of my noggin for illustration. Dot. The location of the mass makes it hard to pinpoint exactly how my seizures manifest because we don't know as much about the frontal lobe as we do the rest of the brain. If you're curious about specifics, I'd be happy to share my experiences but again. Number 2 epileptics are completely alike so I can only speak for me. This is precisely what was going through my mind as I handed her the $20. May I ask for details on focal epilepsy? I am not familiar with it. I assume it to mean uncontrollable bouts of staring or blinking. I have focal epilepsy as well. However focal epilepsy is a general term to refer to a fairly broad range of epilepsy. In my case my mind gets really fuzzy and I'm only partly aware of what's going on. I still have control of my body and can respond to people talking to me. For accidentally putting a blue-green paint in with the blue paints in art class. A kid came up to me and punched me. I didn't even punch him back or do anything because a teacher saw right away. I was suspended for two days for fighting. I got sent to the principal for saying whatever to a supervisor on the school bus. School supervisor or bus supervisor? Because typically bus drivers have a shitty job and tend to be cool people if you're nice to them. At least that was my experience all until 9th grade when I started being driven. My bus driver was the sweetest lady. When I stopped riding the bus she started picking up OT to drive my team to wrestling meets so she could watch me. I was a standout athlete and I think she was proud of me like a grandparent would be. I once got in trouble for reading Stephen King. They were like, you're reading dark books it's the reason your behavior is bad. One of my teachers gave me a Stephen King novel since I enjoyed reading it. A couple of girls were on the swings and I stood in the middle of them hanging out. I picked up a handful of wood chips and dropped them in from of the girls as they swing by. I did it a couple of times and they laughed and never told me to stop get back to class and they told the teacher I was throwing wood chips at them. A big issue in that school. Got in pretty big trouble for that one. This entire thread shows that the normal school system is FD. For our writing warm-up activity in 8th grade one wrote about a serial killing penguin who had mental health issues and got told to read it aloud. Yeah I wrote a story in 7th grade where the main character died and she made me rewrite the ending because it was too violent. I didn't even have any violent scenes or anything. The character just died. Lol yeah. I feel death is too shielded in school. And honestly feel it's a big reason people are so fearful of it. Or react to loss in a very very big way. What school did you go to? Because I'm trying to think of a single book I read assigned in middle high school that did not contain at least one highly graphic gruesome depressing death in middle school the bell to send us home didn't go off on time we were all standing by the door waiting to leave when all the other classrooms started leaving to go home the hallways were filled and teachers were telling people goodbye so my classroom started to leave too I was one of the first ones out but apparently our teacher caught the end half of the class and made them sit down and tell them everyone who walked out the door because I dismiss you. Not the bell. So all of us who left like the rest of the school got detention. I dismiss you. Not the bell. Quote. Then why the HL does the bell exist? If it decides when you come. It decides when you leave. Right? Is the teacher going to take the detention your next teacher gives you when you're late to their class? Will they be giving you a ride home if you miss the bus? If no, then bye ye. I was waiting in the bathroom for a urinal. A kid walked towards me and choke slammed me against the wall. He told the teacher that I was watching him pee and I got three days of after school. At my elementary school. They didn't really have any stuff to play with outside so we would play with sticks, rocks, pine cones, etc. 
but they didn't like that so they would send us to sit at the wall for all of recess if we got caught. It was weird. In 1993 the Flaming Lips song, She Don't Use Jelly, came out. I was in third grade and I really liked that song. And started signing it with my friends during a double-handed jump roping session. She don't use Geely or any of these. She uses V-A-A-A-S-S-S's C-line. Boom. Written up. Three-day suspension for saying sexually suggestive things. I had no idea that was meant sexually. Worse even. No one would explain why that song was sexually suggestive. It was very confusing. This is funny and sad. Don't be inappropriate. Quote. How is it inappropriate? Quote. I don't want to explain it. You're too young for this kind of thing. Quote. Then you must know. I wasn't intending to be inappropriate. Quote. Don't talk back. I'm an adult. M-E-A-A-A-A. Quote. Reminds me of me asking my sixth grade teacher what sodomy is because I heard it in Blink 182's What's My Age Again. He turned red as HL and told me to look it up. I hate when adults say calling out the holes in their logic talking back. Sorry I put your brain in a pretzel but you gotta get your ST together. When I was in the 8th grade we had, for one day, a substitute teacher in our Portuguese class. She had the job to make us do a little text about what we thought it would be the best invention ever. I made it about toilets. We delivered the papers 10 minutes after. As she was reading them she would make comments like too much commas or this needs more paragraphs. As soon as she got to mine she stopped speaking. Demanded one kid to go and get the principal. The principal comes. Reads the text. Also get furious. Picks me up. Drags me into his office. In there. He and the substitute called my mom. Made her do 30 kilometers in a traffic-filled city. When she arrived. She read the text and started laughing. Like legit crying and grabbing onto her stomach. They got so mad at my mom for laughing instead of taking it seriously that the principal suspended me for one week. Call of duty and no homework for one week thanks to my mom. I checked out a book on African tribes from the library in the fourth grade. I told the teacher about how the book had topless women in it thinking I was helping. She confiscated the book and had me suspended from school. Was it from the school library? School library. One time I had to spend an entire day without shoes because I wore black safety boots instead of black shoes to school. Dude. One time I got a referral because I wore the wrong shade of blue shoes. Picturing that referral. Reason for referral. Just wonder in Yakno sauntered into algebra with unauthorized periwinkle shoes. This is a cobalt blue institution and we have a strict zero tolerance periwinkle policy. Unacceptable and unfashionable. No one can learn with this kind of distraction. Ditto. We had a lot of snow that week and I forgot my shoes when I wore snow boots to school. The science teacher yelled. Literally yelled. At me for a solid five minutes until I cried, at which point she mocked me further. Not my teacher. Mind you. Just the science teacher. I was eight. In seventh grade English class. A classmate looked pretty sad so I asked her how she was doing. No malicious intent. Just wondering what was making her so upset but she started sobbing. I apologized and moved on. Later that day. I get pulled from a different class by a math teacher that I've never met before who yelled at me in the hallway making snide remarks about my parents and their parenting capacity. She made me sit in front of the principal's office to wait for the principal to talk to me for four hours. Long after the school day has ended. When the principal finally did show up. He had no idea why I was sitting there. Middle school me was too shy to make a fuss about it but in hindsight I should have made a complaint against her. To this day, the girl that I supposedly bullied has no idea why the math teacher flipped out at me. First one. I was waving my fingers to try to get a stuck sticky paper off of it. The principal was passing my class and saw me through the door. He thought I was throwing rocks. 
in a class. At the back of my friend head. I got suspended for that. Second one. My math teacher when I was 14 years old had something against me. At the beginning of each class she would ask me to go into the corridor for 15 minutes that was her idea of a punishment. She didn't even bother to find a reason. I just had to get out. These are both utterly insane. What the HL. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.